Hello and welcome to episode 160 of Bobo Scrub Arty Records. Yay! <laughs> Recording in the week. Hmm. And for some reason Wednesday's episode didn't upload properly and I've only just noticed. So hopefully it will upload in time to be released. I'm guessing when this episode comes out it will already be out. So you will already know. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Anyway, today... I thought that uh, we'd pop out in the Crusader, seeing as I've been asked about it. It's a uh, Crusader body with this five and a half inch gun mounted backwards on the chassis. The 28 mil of armour. Mm. It's pretty slow forwards, but backwards it's pretty damn quick. So it's one of those drive it backwards, shoot it in reverse, turny roundy, uppy downy type things. And uh, I was, when I was looking over the stats, I was thinking, hmm, it says that the, uh, the standard shell damage is between 675 and 1,100. Uh, not in my experience. Um, as we'll pop out and we'll have a look, I suppose. Um, the, the shells kind of nibble away at people slowly. But with a fairly good reload you can just keep nibbling at people if you can hit them. It's There's a love-hate relationship that me and a couple of people I know have with um, with the Crusader SP. It's, it's just one of those artillery where you can have some really good games in it, but there's something that feels funny about it. Not quite sure what. I'm still, you know, I, I originally sold it. I, I got the Burt. I played this for a little bit. And then I sold it, carried on playing up through the line. And I've only just recently really bought it back. And, yeah, I'm liking it again. I th I'm not entirely sure why I sold it. I think that that funny, odd feeling I get from from playing this machine. Mm, I just I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But we'll see how this game goes. And uh, I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> Uh, you never know. Oh, I've got the rabbit attacking me. It's biting my feet. It's biting my feet. Okay, so. Keeping an eye on this map. Looks like people are reluctant to push down this way, but to be honest, it's probably worth us keeping an eye over here. Just to help out this KV-3 and the SU. Now you can see there's quite a nice arc on the gun. And the aiming time's not too bad. There's a fairly fresh crew in this machine, so... Alright, we'll give that a go. That went over his head. Okay, so from battle assistant view that looked like it should have hit him. But uh, he didn't. Since 9.9 .9, shells have been going long which is a bit odd so we'll try aiming in on the front of this Jackson and we got him interesting okay so keeping an eye on the map there at the uh, the eastern flank hmm there's a Dickamax over this way by the look of it, he's just taken out our SU. So we'll shoot the Black Prince again. Both of them went over, me and the Bishop there. Hmm, weird. Right, so the Black Prince looks like he's moving in slightly. Aha! So we'll wait for this reload again. We'll try and help out over here as long as we can. Oh, we moved forward after we took the shot. Okay, we'll just pull back a little bit. Let's have a look, see what this BDR is doing. Okay, we might be able to get a shot on this BDR. Waiting for this reload. Oh, nice shot. Right. So it looks like the, uh, the eastern flank's managing. Just let the same time come in. Ah, oh, and it fell short anyway. Okay, so let's just move around a little bit. 
let them know we're reloading. Keeping an eye on that flank there. The eastern side, they don't look like they're doing particularly well. Okay, we're going to struggle this shot, so I'm trying to use battle assistant. Great shot. Excellent, we managed to hit him. Let's move over in reverse, just to the right a little bit, just so we can get a better shot on him. Okay, the Dicker Max is heading around behind the KB-3. Mm. Okay, waiting for this reload. Aim time, there we are. Okie dokie, right. Time to move then. So we've managed to nibble people down a little bit. Haven't really supported that flank too well. This is the uh, first game I've had in SPGs this evening. Let's see if we can help out this. Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's see if we can get aimed in on this FE201. And he's disappeared. Rightio. Not quite sure what this M4 and the VK are doing. Okay, so they know we're here. By the look of things. Maybe that Dicker Max knows where we are. I do not know. Try and aim in on this Black Prince then. Ah! Okay, so the Dicker Max does know where we are. See if we can get shifted. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Let's try to get moved around on them. Hmm, was it to be? Okie dokie, so unfortunately that was a defeat. I was probably not really paying as much attention as I should have been there. Maybe we should have been supporting that uh, that eastern flank a little bit. Mm. Never mind. But we managed just over a thousand damage, which seems to be the average for for me in the Crusader. Um, yes, we didn't really do too well there, did we? Mm. But uh, yeah, this. Uh, FE-201 had a blinding game by the look of it, so seven shots fired, and we made a profit, so that's always good. I think what we'll do, just as I've been doing this week, we'll pop out in it again, see what kind of game we can have a second time round, and uh, yeah, you never know. So it is completely fresh crew, they're halfway through their uh, camouflage on their first perk, so this is, obviously there's no vents, because it's all open topped, but... Um, yeah, there's no brothers in arms or anything like that. So, yes, it's a good representation of how how this tank fares. So, yeah, let's go try them again. Hmm, so, Karelia. This is Assault, and we're attacking. And we're right at the bottom of the stack this time round. So, good potential for some good XP for us. And you'll get to see how these shells fare against some of the larger tanks. So I'm not going to sit up on the hill because the uh, there's pathways since this map got changed. There's pathways up there. Not too keen on being up in that direction. So we're going to sit back over here. The downside being further away is the shell travel time. But uh, yes, we'll have to deal with that. So we'll see how long it takes for these shells to travel all the way over here in a second, I expect. So we've got aimed in over this way to see what our light tanks are going to spot. Excellent stuff. There's a tank destroyer there. So, shot away didn't lead him enough. Yes. Okay, so that gives us an idea. Let's see if we can move over a little bit. Let's see what we can see on this tiger. Oh, there's an IS pushing around fairly aggressively down the eastern side. Rightio, so we'll get aimed right in. Shot away. 
And that went long. Yeah, we might have splashed him. A couple of tank destroyers been spotted there. There's a waffle and this AMX again. So we'll wait for our reload to come in. See if we can get shot. Doesn't look like he thinks he's been spotted. Shot away. Okay, that went wide. It's a bit of a pain. So I'll keep an eye on where this... There's an M103 that popped up there as well. There's a T30 here. We might... Mm, that's a toughie. We can give it a go. Not much of a splash on these shells. Okie dokie, so we hit the rock. That was a bit of a dodgy shot, really, when you think about it. Hmm. Okie dokie, so not much been spotted yet. They must all be hovering around the... Uh, around the cap a little bit. Okay, this pattern's coming down to try and take out our bulldog, so... Ah. Uh, there's the IU as well. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy then. Cool. It went in. And we finished him off. Lovely jubbly. He was, uh, well, he was on the hill there. His hull was, the top of his hull and the whole of his tank was pointing towards us. So it's pretty lovely, really. Excellent stuff. Our bulldog's doing well. So we won't move the hull yet. Just keep an eye out to see where this uh, M103 is. The T30's popped up again. Let our aim time come right in. Hmm. We're going to be really hard pushed to hit him, to be honest. Okay, so... Aiming at the ISU while he's moving full pelt. Shot away. Oh, we could have potentially splashed him there. I think we were unlucky. Wow. T-49 taking out the 30. Rightio. So... Hmm. The reload's all not even done and he's, he's dead already. Right. So, AMX. Let's try this guy again. Set over here. We'll let it get right in. Shot away. Cool, that looks like it went in. So there's the artillery. They're down. Waffle Trigger is hiding. Might be able to get shot over with the higher shell travel on this machine. We might be lucky in hitting him. Possibly. Oh, but we don't need to because he's popped already. And the M103 is in a great spot. Not sure that we can get over the rock, to be honest. We can give it a go. Great shot. Cool, we managed to hit him in the turret. It's good. We might get another another shot in or so before everyone finishes him off. We're going to have to be careful if they come in tight. But Okay, might be a bit dodgy taking the shot now. Don't really want to hit the KV-3 or the uh, T-49, but we don't need to. He's dead. <laughs> Good game. Excellent stuff. As you saw, that was a victory. We managed 14,000 damage on the nail and 927 assist, which is not too bad. And it looks like... Oh, I've got lag. Weird. I thought my computer would crash for a second there. Well, yes, we managed to get a mastery badge first class. So I think when I was playing this, we didn't have these. Possibly. I can't remember. But I know I didn't have too many games in it, so yay! <laughs> Excellent. Woot! And we're quite a way up the uh, the old XP table there as well. Super stuff. Yes. They were all a bit derpy. And we made almost 25 grand. Woohoo! Awesome stuff. So yeah, you can have some good games in it. It's, um... I really like it. I think I'm glad that I've bought it back. It's, uh... It's good fun. It's a little bit weird. It's a bit odd to get used to, but hmm, yeah. So, hmm. right. I'm in the mood. So I think we'll try. We'll try a Burt game. See what we can manage. See if we can have a good one. <laughs> Could be good. Ah, Sand River. Hmm. Okay. This could be interesting. 
I uh, haven't had much luck on Sandria in a burt. Hmm. Rightio. So, where should we go? Let's get this show on the road. Normal spots probably aren't going to work. Because of the uh, the shorter range. So I'm thinking of maybe playing things slightly differently. And yeah, why not? Let's try things in a slightly different fashion. Let's head up the top here and try and get round kind of the six square. Hmm. Got a lot of heavy tanks going south. Maybe we should have gone round and tried to support them. Mm. Okay, well, it's a trap. I've been spotted already. That's not a good sign. Mm. Rightio, Chaffee. Mm. That was the one that spotted us then. It's a trap! Hey, that was a good shot. Let's see, I've never been over here before really. So let's um Let's not push too far up that way then. Ah! It's a trap! Okay, this is unusual. Is very unusual. Ah. It's a trap. Ah. Ah. This is going to end badly. <laughs> okay, so that's not the way to do it by the look of things. Mm. Oh. Maybe we should have followed the heavies. Eh, it was worth a go. <laughs> so, unsurprisingly, that was a defeat. Our team pushed on down to the south, and those two guys that we come across capped us out. No one really came back to help. Mm. Yeah, so... We didn't have too much of a good one there. <laughs> Just under 500 damage with a little bit of assist. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we'd have had heavy tanks and stuff over there, that could have been a good position. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a go, you know. So yeah, the, the A44 ended up having a blinding game. So he got uh, capture points and such. So yeah, we're still halfway up the XP table, even on a loss, which is pretty good. And sometimes you do just have to try things and... You know, if they work, then cool, remember them for next time. And if they don't, then cool, remember them for next time. <laughs> but yeah, so we made a little bit of a loss, but that was because of the premium consumables that uh, we have on Burt. We've got um, some of the, the pudding and tea because it kind of helps a little bit. So yeah, but not too bad. The two shots we fired managed to hit stuff. So that's really cool. <laughs> Excellent. Right. I'll leave it there for this episode because uh, it's getting pretty late. I know it's not looking late by that time, but uh, I do get up at quarter to five in the morning. So, yes. Mm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like and stuff if you did. It really helps me out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>